What's up guys, it's Max from Funky Fly Fisherman and Every Angle Angling. Welcome back! I uh, just got back from the gym. And now that I have that over with, spend my day in here, in the good old fly dungeon. Um, so, today we're going to talk theories um, on smallmouth flies. Because, yeah, some of you guys probably know, like, Klaus, Bob Clauser's a legend, he's from my area, um, and other guys like him, Brian Shoemaker's a big guy on the Susquehanna, uh, big warm water guy, Schultz Outfitters out in the Midwest, but I'm going to talk my, my theory, um, it has to do with a lot of white in the flies, uh, I'm a firm believer in white flies for a smallmouth, and you'll see why. So, without further ado, I'm going to switch you over to here, onto the desk, so we can get some cool views that way. So, stay tuned. Let's go, boys. Alright, guys. So now that we're showing the properties of these, um, you can get... Focus. I don't get why it doesn't want to focus. I mean, I'm trying here. I'm trying. So, back to the theory behind this fly. Also, I need a name for this. Um, I haven't fished it yet, but guys, I'm pretty confident in it. I have it tied in an olive, which this colorway is pretty sick. It's a uh, peacock olive. Ice tub, all of well, no, it's uh, actually peacock ice tub and all of marabou and head. I like this colorway a lot. Um, here, I'll move the. Alright, that's uh, better. Alright, so. It's probably the best angle yet. It's all of. Got a nice flashy tail on it. Um, same ice dub in the front. And it's all the same theory. It's just an olive color because, like I said, yes, white. I live by white flies. Um, but they're not always the answer. My dad, personally, will say the black bugger is the best pattern to ever come onto this planet. Um, He's outfished me, even with ugly ones just like this, with barely a hook gap. He's outfished me with this when I'm throwing. I mean, this is uh, not a good example, but stuff like this. You know, I'm. I like chasing the bigger fish. He's okay with any fish. And he catches 19 inch smallmouth on a size 6 black bugger it's it's a reliable fly but I think bait fish patterns I mean I haven't tested this one out I just saw a pike guys pattern on YouTube and I was like hey <sighs> haven't really done an all marabou and synthetic fly before looks kinda neat let's try it so basically all that is is synthetic tail some flash Peacock curl for lateral lines in there somewhere. And a bunch of palmered marabou. And it's tied with Vivas mono thread. So that's kind of cool. That's not the making of this video. This video is all about this baitfish pattern. Because when the crawfish bite isn't happening, you know, they're not feeding on leeches. They're, they don't want anything too big. I think a pattern like this will work. Um, and it's easy to fish too. I'm gonna show you my tank is disgusting right now. There's about this much water in it, but you can still get a view of the action. So I'll do that for you guys. I'll set you up on the tripod. Um, and I'll get hopefully a view of the action. The lighting sucks over there, so um, but yeah, that's the done deal. It's about three inches or so uh, nice little 
kicky kicky and it, it's three beads on the articulation just uh because I have mono so I just want to make sure it stays in place but that thing it's gonna have lots of action in the water so let's give this thing a shot um do I do a tying video of it Sure.